first. Defend the extractor fan controls. Then stop them fighting their way down the escalators. Finally, don't let them destroy the pump controls. Hey friends, it's Joby here, and um, I am playing, we're playing Dirty Bomb today. Uh, we're not playing Alien Isolation, uh, unfortunately I haven't had time and I'm kind of sick. And uh, so I have to take, uh, because PAX is coming up, I'm going to have to take another freaking week off from playing it. Uh, but we hit 1500 subs and I figured, hey, let's make a video about Dirty Bomb instead. This is what I was in, this is what I was away for work checking out last week and it's uh it's pretty cool it's splash damage is a new game uh, it's being published by nexon it's going to be free to play it's only in closed beta at the moment uh it will be in open beta sometime next year but uh yeah i've uh, i've roped in my housemate and best mate heath to uh talk about the game with me say hello heath g'day heath you've got your own youtube channel don't you i do yeah and you play like really boring games you make yeah. really boring videos i like to drive yeah what uh what's your youtube channel uh ooh, i think you just search heath dixon fucking that's great <laughs> i should find a name for it <laughs> probably <laughs> um i well anyway we can consider this you know one of those youtube collaborations except neither of us are very uh well known um yeah. yeah so uh yeah heath uh this is this is your first time seeing the game in action isn't it, it? is yes so, uh, yeah, what you don't know, uh, what nobody knows, I suppose, what many people don't know, is that uh, this is Splash Damage. Uh, they made Wolfenstein enemy territory back in the day, and uh, this is their this is their spiritual successor to to that game. Uh, did you play any Wolfie team? None at all, no. Okay. This is, yeah. Fair enough. That's, uh, this is going well. Um, <laughs> camping the shit out of that room. Hey, well, that's that's it. That's what we're meant to do. Right? Oh, okay. So uh, yeah, so we're on defense at the moment. So the way this game works, it's not like it's not like every other bloody multiplayer shooter anymore, where you know it's team deathmatch. This is very specifically uh, offense versus defense. So um, we're defending at the moment. We're going to defend the yellow square on the ground there, and if they're inside it, they start to cap that area. So uh, you'll see that medic just managed to get a sweet kill that player and I ran near the exploding door so the doors on either side they're able to blow those open and it gives them extra access points to the area because as it is now they've either got that door I ran through or there's a hole in the roof that they can drop through so it's it's not great for them to be stuck using those two avenues of access so if they open up the doors they get a few more options and uh and yeah, I can close the doors as well. That's the that's one of the things about the game is that you're always able everything. Oh my god, I'm getting shot from behind through that fucking window. Um, everything that yeah, everyone's able to like action on one team, the other team is able to action as well. So as as much as I can uh, close doors, they can open doors. As much as they can capture the area, I can decapture the area. Oh. Should have seen that coming. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so it's it's very much about you know the, the yin and yang of, of attacking and defending. Yeah. Was uh, so when you died to the exploding doors before, was that them blowing that door open? Yeah. And you just happened to be there. I just happened to run into. Okay, it. that's cool. Yeah. So I've sort of run around to the side to. Yeah. See, I'm getting assists because I've dropped my turret. My character at the moment carries turrets. He's a support character. He's not like a full blown damage dealer. But he drops that turret. It's not. I think the turret maybe doesn't have enough damage. It's just, it doesn't last as long as it, I feel like it should. But yeah, uh, we're using the doors now because we know that they'll be entering via them. So as you can see, our team is actually camped out in the yellow square. We're decapping the area. We've successfully decapped. I think the medic is gonna. Yep, gonna get me back up. So how long will you sit there before the medic runs out of time to revive you? Uh, you've got you, you slowly tick down on damage um, yeah. so I can help they're, they're down as well or if um, the the other option is that someone can actually just put you out of your misery um, obviously your teammates aren't, aren't going to do that but um, but your enemy can Could they, and, and it blocks well I don't think so there doesn't seem to be any friendly fire friendly fire yeah. Um, yeah no I don't think that has a little it was a hand hanging through the roof. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. 
Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any uh, friendly fire, uh, and yeah, it's mostly a tactical thing from the other team to stop you because you can't be revived by the paddles if you've been down, if you've been killed all the way. Um, yeah, it's it's in closed beta, as I said, it's still a work in progress. Um, so yeah, the, there are glitches like that. There's another one, I think. It's pretty funny. I think it's later. We'll see if it comes. Um, yeah, so you can see that they're opening up the other door again. They've opened up the side door on the left, the right, rather, not the left. Oh, I fucking empty into my own teammate there. Nice. Yeah, I'm out of ammo, which is why I'm rocking the pistol. <coughs> can anyone drop ammo for you? Uh, uh, I don't think there's anyone up who can, which is why I'm sort of camping near my turret. Um, yeah, so they've got 9 minutes and 30 seconds left to take. Uh, to actually finish the map. It's not just uh, like their half ends in 9 minutes and 25 seconds now. And uh, if they don't get it done, the way this works is that at the end of the, the round, we immediately switch sides. And so we go on offense and they go on defense. And they have to do exactly what we're doing now. Uh, if you look at the bottom, you can see three little cards. Oh, uh, yep. Burn cards? Uh, no. no. This isn't Titanfall. Um, no, those are my, the characters I'm able to choose. So I've got Bushwhacker selected at the moment. He's got the turret. Uh, I think Skyhammer is the one in the middle. Uh, he calls in a, a uh, like, drone attack, bomb drop or something. Uh, but he's kind of useless in this map. I, I made a mistake by picking him. Because um, you have to have a clear line of sight to, to planes to drop uh, bombs on you and shit. I ran in there. And I probably shouldn't have gone as gung-ho as I did, but I did, like, clear out. I did a lot of damage to the, the opposing team, and that meant our team, my team, was able to get in and uh, get me back up. At the moment, we've got uh, our teams are a bit randomized. Um, you can see on the left-hand side, we've got these bars, and they represent the health of all my teammates. And that way, you're able to tell whether your teammates are alive. See, Coach Al just died. Um, Oh, jeez, great. Uh, the balls of steel. I just need to close this door. There we go. Uh, Got it done. So, yeah, three out of four of my teammates are now dead. I'm going to try and get this guy back up. He's a heavy, so uh, he's able to... Yeah, he. I did it despite dying, because he does so much damage that it doesn't matter. And I believe he's going to try and get me back up, and that is a mistake. Don't do it! Don't uh, do it! Oh. Through the roof! Through the wall! He's the behind you! He's behind you! Come on, man. So this little spectre that comes up when you die... Yep. What's the point of that? So, I mean, can your teammates see that? Like no. That? No, because I haven't seen that from anyone else. Yet. Yeah. So that's just showing Cheeky you... Cheeky shit. ...the direction you were facing when you die? Um, that, well, it shows you where exactly you were killed from. Oh, so, right. So it... Uh, next time we see it, I'll, I'll point it out. But um, yeah, it gives you an idea of where the enemy is in case they're hiding behind something. You can see a direct line of where the killing bullet came from. And uh, oh, is that the way the camera swings around? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if it comes up again, so see how they're down on the ground. I just finish yeah. them off uh, okay. to stop them from doing anything. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're gung-ho in, in the center at the moment, and uh, oh, I'm doing poorly. I'm oh, coming so second last night. Line. Yep. Yeah, uh, and see that little, that blue circle on the ground that I'm standing in right now? Oh, yeah. That's a uh, healing area that the healer drops. Um, so, yeah, I dropped my turrets. We should be able to, we should be able to push them out, but they got it up to about 60%, which is the most that they've gotten it to so far, I believe. Hmm. Um, yeah, that cheeky fucker was hiding behind the door. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. Anything else, Heath? Um, no, it all seems pretty straightforward. Yeah. It's colourful. It is very colourful. Like. It's uh, it's sort of reminiscent of Brink, because Brink was their last game. So uh, the last game that Splash Damage made was, yeah, Brink. And it wasn't very successful. It sort of played to the same sort of... Uh, ideas of uh, you know two uh, asymmetrically uh, based teams mm. fighting it out, but uh, yeah, it it didn't really play to the strengths of Splash Damage. Splash Damage, you know, they started off making Quake Three Fortress, which was just Team Fortress, ah. um, but for Quake Three, um, and 
I, I was talking to the CEO, Paul Wedgwood, about the genesis of their their company, and uh, he was saying that uh, they actually uh, Valve had the rights to Team Fortress, and because uh, they were going to make Team Fortress too, and they uh, actually got a a cease and desist from Valve uh, to stop making Team Fortress for Quake, oh. and then. Um, but along with the cease and desist was a description of just the very basic things they needed to change so that they could avoid it. <laughs> so yeah, like just like really simple shit that they needed to rename and then they'd be able to keep their mod up. That's how fucking, you know, I give, I, I like to give out a lot of shit for their Steam platform or mostly just for Steam. So yeah, there's the line. Uh, yep. um, yeah, for Steam not getting as much scrutiny as I think it deserves. but. Like, ultimately, they are a cool company that, you know, they, they do genuinely care about, about gamers most of the time. So, mm. yeah, that, I think that proves their philosophy fairly well, even if it was a decade ago. See this muff just hiding behind the freaking shelving. Um, so I'm going to close this again. I sh yeah, see, they haven't got their the zone capped at all. They've only got four minutes left, which puts them in an interesting predicament. We've got to close just in time. Yep, just in time. I noticed you started with a knife. Yep. So there is a melee? Uh, there's a melee, yeah, so... Oh, you've had a number of chances to use that and you haven't. Uh, I don't, I don't tend to. Because I, you know how in Counter-Strike, you know that if you do the stab, it's like 65 health, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know what the numbers are, so I, I just, I didn't want to risk it. I'm better off using a gun than I know spits hot lead. Uh, um, the reason I keep bringing it out though is because uh, you run faster with a knife. Yeah, that oh, actually works in this game. Well, it, it's not oh, common it's not anymore, right? Similar, like, yeah. it just doesn't happen all the time anymore. Pretty shame. So I'm gonna finish. Yep, boom. Oh, there we go. Double slash. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna uncap this, and at this point, they're in a they're in a state. They're not in a good way uh, because. I mean, yeah, three minutes left, and they've still got to cap the other objective, which is they have to plant C4 down the bottom. Oh, so this area. isn't the only one? This, Yeah, this is just the first oh, point. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Um, oh, grenades galore. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a dude called Fragger, and he just shoots grenades constantly. <laughs> and uh, he's a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, so uh, you can see they're, they're making a push now. They're half in the, uh, the area. That was just shoddy gameplay from me. Left the knife out for way too long. Didn't take any cover. Ran straight in there. Three, three members of our team are dead. Um, I'm... I'm heavy still up. So, uh, yeah, we're all back up now. So yeah, you can see DJ, uh, D3 Freddy is the heavy. He's back. He's dead now, but he's uh, he's coming back up. We're going to uncap again. Um, which is... Yeah, they're just... They're getting Metal screwed. Something Metal. Oh, I had a little thing pop up in the middle oh, of the screen. Oh, I think that was like a, a kill. Yeah, one of the badges or something. Yeah. You, you get like a double kill or something. Oh, they're so close. They they capped it. Objective Done captain. well. So I'm going to... Oh, they jump. got it. Yeah, they managed to push us out and jump in. So, yeah, I, I come up here to protect... For, and, and this one. Yeah, this guy. So... His name is C1 Non-Aligned, I believe, and I think he's being controlled by the lead gameplay designer at this point. I think <laughs> that was the game that he took over, and uh, he was getting pretty cheeky. So uh, the people in this game, um, I believe, are there are two English journos, um, one other Aussie journo, uh, which would be uh, Dan from Oz Gamers. Uh, there's me, obviously, and a German, and maybe like three devs at this point. So you can see, yeah, he was wrapping around. He was going to hard rush the uh, the bomb. He has to plant a bomb back, basically where I killed him. And they can come through that elevator. Uh, it's like a side sort of uh, attack area. Mm. And I just got to kill with my turret nice. just then. Which is very handy. And that, oh. that guy, self-revives. So he's not that great as a medic, but uh, he can self-revive himself, which makes him pretty sneaky. Ah. Uh, though he didn't he didn't time it as well as he could have. Um, yeah, so that, that's one of the things. Instead of just having medics, you've got a bunch of characters 
uh, and the characters sort of conform to these archetypes. So you've got like a, four different types of medic, um, uh. and they're all different characters. So of the medics that I have available to me, um, so I've got my three classes down the bottom. If you remember the cards, the yep. bone cards. Um, yeah, I can choose to be Aura, which is on the left, and she's a she's quite a, a powerful hero, healer. She um, but she has a sort of less powerful revive. So she when she revives people, they don't get back to full health. But if she puts down her healing thing, that's it. That was the first half over. Done. And uh, and yes, they haven't done well. That is not good. Uh, 13 minutes it took them to get the first objective. So uh, we're going to switch sides. You can see there my uh, kill death is basically one to one, which isn't fantastic. But I did manage to raise up above second last place. Uh, D1 smooth. Go on, 11 and 18. And... Uh, Cozy Eye is 7 of 20. Uh, and I. 7 of 20. I thought that that was. Because um, that is. That's the kind of stats that uh, Dave Kaziki, who was over for Hyper Magazine, uh, those are the kind of stats he was bringing. But um, that was actually Richard Jolly, one of the co founders of Splash Damage, wow. just embarrassing himself at that point. Uh, I'm going for knives in center. Come on. Ah. Uh, I think I, I'm oh, out. so that was just like a fun. This that was just warm up, yeah. Oh, okay. While well, everyone got their shit sorted out, you don't get to change which characters you bring into the game. Um, you're stuck with the three that you brought in in the first place. Um, I think that's to keep things sort of balanced, so you can't have like a offensive team and a defensive team. Hmm. Uh, it makes sense to me. Oh, it makes sense, yeah. Is that dude carrying a sword? Uh, baseball bat, I believe, or oh. a cricket bat, because it's England, right? Oh, so, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, they kill my turrets right away. Turret goes down easy. We've got that um, that C4 planted already, which is good. Wow. Oh, so you don't have to do the two in order? No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, no. Yeah, you do have to do... No, we've got the C4 on the door. So these are oh, the door okay, section. Right, we've got sorry. to do the hack area first. So, uh, yeah. We're all going left now. We're, we're communicating on the, uh, on the mics. Although, we're not all on the same... Uh, channel. channel yeah which is annoying because the see how we got c2 spike and c3 coach owl d3 freddy and d1 smooth i'm on the c team i'm c4 joby that means that d players uh, other c players who are on the other team uh, they're all in the same channel as us which means they can hear our, our strategy so we didn't realize this until i think well halfway through the first round and then we realized we were able to hear them strategizing <laughs> we, it might be why we managed to hold them out quite as long as we did <laughs> now, as you can see we're already at about 60 percent cap of the fan control oh. Oh. no tickets i noticed no tickets no so it's all time based and yeah reviving whenever you want um the only reason, yeah, you wouldn't revive necessarily is because it's more efficient um, for you to stay in that location. Say you could see that medic was just about to come over to you, so I'm not reviving at the moment because I'm thinking maybe a med can get me up. Because uh, yeah, there is a medic right there. But taking his time. There we go. Like if he'd gotten me up almost immediately, then it would have been. That would have been the best way to go about it, but there we just capped the area. So we've definitely won the game, considering it took us, uh, I think, three minutes as opposed to 13 minutes. Mm. Um, yeah, so we've definitely won the game, but now we've got to push and try to get the other one. I go on a bit of a rush as Bushwhacker. It's not the best idea. He's not the fastest character because he's carrying a giant freaking turret. But... Uh, also, yeah. oh, weight, like what you're carrying affects the. Like, there's weight? No, well, the, there is weight to characters, but it's not affected by what they're carrying. You've just got different. Uh, each character has a different type of speed. And uh, a character, like, it just sort of makes sense in a logical standpoint that the minigun guy in, in all that gear. Ooh, yeah, damn. sucker. Um, yeah, in all, all his yeah. bomb gear, isn't able to run as fast as the as the fleet-footed little baseball bat carrying person. Oh, I got one hit. 
I'm trying to put my healer down because I'm water at the moment. No, I'm trying to put my healer thing down, but uh, I can't do it. I'm capped out at, if you look at the bottom right there, I'm capped out at 80 health, which makes me quite vulnerable uh, to damage. Hide. Why are you capped out at 80? Uh, so different characters, ha again, have different health pools. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god, I missed again. That was disgusting. If I hadn't missed, that would have been owned. Uh, but if you, yeah, that minigunner character you saw before, yeah. they start out with 200 health. Wow. Yeah, so they don't really have an armor sort of uh, stat. Instead, basing it all on health. And uh, trying to take down someone with 200 health when you've got nowhere near as much is is kind of challenging. Uh, but if you see them first, you are able to... This is an alternate route, by the way. Um, that person who was wrenching the... The generator before. Ooh. Let us, uh, oh man. Someone with a grenade. Oh, martyrdom. I got martyrdom. Do you remember martyrdom from Call of Duty 4? Nope. Well, it's back in pop form. Um, yeah, no, I got martyrdom, which is a real shame. And now I'm stuck waiting. What's it mean? Uh, it means when they die, they drop a grenade. Oh. And if you're standing yeah. on top of their body, you die. It's hilarious. Ouch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, he went for that big jump and he swung his arms a little bit. She. Oh, she did. Uh, yes. Cool. I'm trying to put the freaking. See how she was sort of dancing a bit there? Yeah. Yeah, the death animations aren't 100% yet. What we're doing in that room where I died is we're trying to close. We're actually able to. <laughs> yeah, those death animations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're actually trying to close the. Uh, uh, there's an exit area so basically like um you know train barriers mm. we're actually able to uh yeah close those off and uh, 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 that was such a sneaky kill too um so yeah I, I get her back up but yeah we're trying to close those barriers and it makes it very hard it gives the uh defending team only one area like one way to get out of the uh the zone which yeah mm. Uh, she shouldn't be trying to help me up. She should be defending the bomb plant, but she doesn't, so... Anyway, we're going to reconstruct them. I shouldn't have done that. Many mistakes. But we are very close to winning. I mean, it's it's nine minutes. we got nine minutes to just press our advantage, really. I uh, guess so. I noticed on that thing, you were using the... I don't know. Wrench. Weld, w wrench, welding thing, whatever. Yep. Okay, say you get it up to a quarter of the way, and you get killed. Yep, it stays. It stays? It's like the door. The door is doing yeah. the same thing. Uh, right. But there are things that, like, you don't, if you don't get 100%, if I didn't get 100% of the bomb planted, then it didn't reset yeah. to zero. Um, so yeah, it changes. It's case by case. But it, 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 I think it encourages players to sort of learn the map and learn what they're doing. Mm. You can see they're going gung-ho to try and decap this this bomb that's our heavy guy is coming in to protect the bomb but I think yeah they just uh, they disabled it and then we planted it almost immediately huh. so uh, we're back up I'm gonna I can actually camp in here and kill people as they try to get up the ramp but yeah I, uh, I, I actually wind up dying which is annoying someone behind me. I figured Good. that because I put the turret down, I'd be safe. Yeah, the turret would do something, but then, yeah, he came from the other direction. Right. Turret's in, see him. Uh, we've got 20 seconds left on this bomb before they all die. Which should be very handy. I keep respawning, of course. Um, and, yeah, we're doing very well. You can see the, the kills up in the top right corner. We just keep getting kills. Uh, this guy is well out of place. I mean, he should be wow. over the bomb trying to uh, stop it from exploding Ooh. but he wasn't there it goes game over and uh, I don't know how we get out of line alive I don't know why we'd do that I mean yeah. I'm pretty sure we all drown in that case there you I go there's the sc uh, score screen um, but obviously it, it goes away really quickly when, when you finish so we'll bring it back up using movie magic um, they triple the amount of XP we gain to sort of uh, let us see the progression system but yeah. we'll get rid of that so here you go here's the scores d3 freddy going ham with 49 and 22 wow yeah huge 
Absolutely huge. And uh, you can see that D1 Smooth didn't actually have that bad a game. He, uh, I mean, he went 25 and 27 in the end, which was pretty good. Um, yeah, and uh, C5 Cozy Eye, who is uh, Rich Jolly, wound up just dying over and over again. 7 and 33. That's Holy awful. Cow. He didn't get another kill, uh, which is kind of embarrassing, I suppose. Anyway. Well, if he's not on the dev team, you know, it's, it's just his company. Just his con yeah, true. Uh, anyway, um, thanks very much for joining me, Heath. That's all right. Thank you. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, congrats to 1,500 subs. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, And, um, yeah, we'll be back with... Uh, I'll be back with the YOLO project next week. Um, I'm sorry I have to take a, a, some time off. If you're coming to PAX Australia, you can come see my panels. I've got panels on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, uh, yeah, just check out their website and uh, their website and then you should be able to see it and watch the full preview it's actually scripted uh, and I explain things properly ha, <laughs> over on games on net anyway peace out bye